who is your uh, your top three pound for pound right now? Top three pound for pound, um, Triple G. Uh, number one. Canelo, two. And three would be... I still uh, like the Cuban fighter, Rigandau, but um, I just, he's not active enough to be three anymore. So three, I'd have to give to, um, I guess, uh, Crawford. Crawford? Yeah. Well, you, you brought up um, Rigandau. A lot of people are still kind of clamoring for the Rigandau Lomachenko fight. Mm -hmm. Who wins that? That fight at 122 was a good fight. At 26, it was a good fight. But now at the, he's at 30 now, and uh, I think the, they're separating each other. The weight might be too much now. Rigandau can't fuck. Rigandau can't beat him at 130. At 22, 26, he has a shot. But uh, you still got a favor. Let me change on that fight. You said Triple G was number one, Canelo was number two. So basically, that fight in September makes you know the undisputed in your mind pound for pound champion in the world right now. Yeah. How, how does that fight, fight play? It's a hundred to one odds on that fight. You what? There's a hundred the odds are a hundred to one. For, on Triple G. Wait, um, oh, no, I was saying uh, uh, tri Triple G um, Canelo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so who, who, who I wins think, that fight? I think Triple G wins that fight, but most people I say that to think I'm wrong. Not, about 90% think I'm wrong. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, how do you say it? So, uh, maybe I'm asking Mexican fighters, I'm not sure. <laughs> but you know what? I, honestly, I, I, I give that response everywhere. So, um... You want the mat? Because but, uh, he's favored, Triple G's favored in, like, in Vegas and everything, he's favored. Yeah, no, in, in the sports books, well, the, the, the ones online, I mean, uh, big numbers, so... I was gonna think, I, I was gonna think about making a bet, but... No, I don't gamble anymore, so no, I won't. I, I, I wanna... But, but, it, but it, it is a real fight. No, it is definitely a real fight.